This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father. You are so worthy. You are so awesome. I'm just coming in here to share some thoughts um, about what I've been seeing. And I want to compare it to something. So, my daughter has this cat. His name is Mikey. And, of course, my daughter is his master. And I watch his characteristics, especially around my daughter and the way he acts around her. And let me tell you something. We should be more like like a cat. We should be more like 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 Mikey. Um every morning, you know, he he is always around her. So when she she needs a break, she put him out, out the room, whatever. And this cat would stand by that room door and he would wait right there until she answered again. He would talk and talk and talk and he would make his little um, meow and cry sounds and he would stay right there until she opens that door. He would stay right there until she answers. I want us to be like that with God. When we pray in and when we feel like God taking long to answer, no matter how long she takes, he would stay right there. I, I want us to be just like that with God. When we pray praying about something, when we cry to him about something, we tend to give up quickly because he's, we feel like he's taking long to answer. Be like Mikey. Wait. Wait on his answer. I don't mind waiting. Be just like Mikey. No matter how long you think it's taken, God is an on-time God, and his timing is very perfect. And listen, this cat will... When, 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 she, when he finally gets into my daughter's presence, I mean, the happiness, the joy, joy unspeakable, this is all he wants to tend to is her. When we in God's presence, and when the presence of God is around, some of us get so distracted. Some of us get so distracted with doing this cleaning and doing the next thing and doing the next thing and on our phone and be like Mikey. When he in my daughter's presence as his master, he does any and everything. He just worship her. He kneel right at her foot. He lay right next to her. He don't do nothing else. He just want to be up under her. He just want to be in her presence. Be like Mikey. Do the same thing with God. And listen, when she rebuke him and when she get on him for doing, you know, the bad things around the house. Because you know how cats go. He does little bad things around the house. He don't, he don't take no offense. And he don't take no offense to her laws. And he don't take no offense to what she is telling him. He listens. He gets a little sad. But he never turns his back on her. Never. God gives us his laws, his commandments. And when we do the wrong thing and our leaders rebuke us to get back in line. We get offended and we talk about we have church. church. We get offended, we leave the church. We get offended, we leave, we leave um from in their presence. All because we got rebuke. And all they're doing is trying to instill in us and trying to remind us of what God's commandments is and what God's laws are. So be just like Mikey. Be like this cat. This cat knows how to worship. This this cat don't mind waiting. This cat know when he's in God's presence. This cat know when he's in my daughter's presence. It the only thing that matters in that moment is her. The only thing that matters is her. When this cat wants something, I don't care me. My husband could be around the house all day. And this guy will walk up and down past us. And sometimes he'll come in, you know, grab us, whatever. If he wants something extremely, extremely bad, whatever. But this guy will wait on my daughter. He will wait on my daughter to provide his food for him. To give him his toys, whatever. That's how much he love her. And we should have the same love for God. We should have the same love for him. When we need something, we go directly to him. And know and have faith that he will provide for us. He is our number one provider. He is our source. This is who we should be going to. We rely too much on man sometimes. We rely on this person to do this for us, this person to do this. And then at the end of the day, we sad and discouraged because they didn't do it. They didn't stick to their work. But if you try God, if you try God, he will do it for you. Remember, he's the same God from yesterday, today, and forevermore. So I just wanted to come on here to say, be like Mikey. Be like that cat. Be like him. Y'all be encouraged in Jesus' name.